everyone, welcome to another video. So I studied mechanical engineering as my undergraduate degree, and then I decided to go into medicine. And there are a few tips that I have being that I studied engineering, and I think had I known these things, it would have been easier applying to medical school. So here are a few tips if you are studying engineering as a pre-med. Number one is when you go into a STEM school, there is so much emphasis on math and science, that sometimes the humanities and composition courses, I mean, I had to take all of these classes, but they were just kind of a necessary evil that you just put the least amount of effort into compared to your engineering classes where you would really push yourself in those. But <laughs> little did I know that writing is super critical when you are applying to medical school. In your primary application, you have to write what's called a personal statement and it's basically your story of why you wanna go into medicine. And this personal statement has to be very persuasive to the admissions committee to consider you for going into their medical school. So because I didn't really have a lot of great writing experiences growing up, um, I was kind of at a disadvantage here and I write very, mm, like, like, <sighs> I write like you would expect an engineer to write who doesn't really have that many writing skills. So if I were studying engineering and knew I was going to be a pre-med, the first thing that I would do starting out is to go out of my way to develop reading and writing skills. So I think they kind of go hand in hand. My next tip as an engineering pre-med is to learn how to sell yourself. I found that a lot of the engineering students that I was friends with Engineers can be super humble, and I think that I do that too. Not that I'm super humble, but I definitely talk down about myself all the time, and I don't know how to sell myself. Like, I, I definitely make myself sound worse than I am, and I think if you are studying engineering and going into medicine, learn how to sell yourself, learn how to really make your experiences sound great, and for instance, I'll give you an example. I had two research experiences over two summers while I was in college, and they were research positions. And I didn't even sell them hardly as research. So one was a quality improvement plan, and because I didn't know to call it a quality improvement plan, I basically made it sound like I was just taking surveys for part of the time. and. I could have worded that so much better, but I just, like, I just wrote like an engineer, like I just wrote exactly what I did, <laughs> and that was not super ideal for, like, applying to medical school. So definitely, definitely learn how to sell yourself. And then another tip I have is to get acquainted with your pre-med department if you have one. I didn't really have a pre-med department when I was first in college. Um, and I just didn't really know a whole lot about the pre-med department at my school I as it was kind of developing and uh, evolving. So anyway, what I would suggest is to get acquainted with them and get their help in planning your schedule because engineering classes are very demanding, particularly due to the amount of um, homework, at least at my school it was a lot of homework. So getting help like planning and scheduling out your classes can be very helpful so that you're not too completely overwhelmed one semester versus the next. So yeah, I would recommend getting acquainted with the pre-med department. And my last tip would be to speak with other engineering students who are ahead of you who are also pursuing medicine or who have already been accepted into medical school and see how they planned their entire schedule and the different activities that they were involved in and just try to learn from those who have already done it ahead of you specifically at your school so i hope this video can be helpful and i know it's really short but if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section below and i'll see you in the next video